In this tutorial I will explain how you can program a micro bit to change image when a digital capacitive touch sensor is pressed. Humans possess a property called body capacitance. This gives our body electrical characteristics. The capacitive touch sensor keeps charging and discharging its metal exterior to detect changes. If you touch the sensor, your body increases the capacitance and triggers the switch. For this project, you will need a micro bit and a Key Studio 37 in 1 starter kit. A link to details about the kit can be found in the notes. The components you will need are a micro bit, a Key Studio micro bit sensor V2 shield, a USB cable, a Key Studio capacitive touch sensor, and three DuPont jumper wires. All of these, except the micro bit itself, can be found in the kit. Details of these components can be found in the notes. Be careful to choose the correct module. It should have touch module written on it and will be easy to identify because of the yellow circle. It is not the push button, which has a large circular button. You may also need a USB-A to USB-C adapter if you have a more modern computer, which will enable you to connect up the micro bit. You should connect the components exactly as in this diagram. A link to the diagram can also be found in the notes. Don't be too concerned if the micro bit does not go into the sensor shield at first. You will need to push it in with a little bit of force to ensure it is correctly in place. You should carefully trace each cable to make sure they are plugged in exactly as required. The S pin needs to go to S0. The positive pin needs to go to V1, 2. And the negative pin needs to go to G0. Remember also that the cable from the computer plugs directly into the micro bit, not the sensor shield. To make the program, the first thing we must do is to navigate to make code. Then we will give the project a name. We can call it capacitive touch. Once that's done, we hit create. Now we're going to need the on start block and then we'll navigate to basic so that when it starts we are going to clear the screen. Then we will go to forever and we will go to logic and we'll get if true then else. Then we go to the pins and we select the digital read pin P0 and then we'll go to logic and get the equal sign digital read pin P0 equals to 1. Okay, then it's back to basic and we'll show a particular icon if it's equal to 1 and another icon if it's equal to anything else. Okay, now we can download the program and then we'll just, after plugging in the micro bit, we can see the micro bit icon on our desktop. So once it's downloaded, we can just take the micro bit file and then we can drag it and drop it onto our micro bit icon. As the file transfers onto your micro bit, you should see the light on the micro bit flashing. And then finally, when it's completely downloaded, the light will be steady. The capacitive touch sensor works differently to a typical button. So be sure to hold your finger or thumb in place for a while and ensure you are pressing and covering the yellow section of the sensor. If your capacitive touch module does not function like this, then there are a few things you can try. Firstly, you could make sure you have connected all three cables to exactly the right pins on the sensor shield. And then you can also double check the program. Just make sure you've chosen all the correct blocks. You can find all the details of this project at the link to the Key Studio Wiki in the notes. It is called Project 11 Capacitive Touch.